we are looking at three simulators, each with 100, target 100, 100 milligram per 100 mil alcohol standard ethanol in distilled water solutions. These simulators will be used in the office for purposes of testing intoxilizer equipment. We don't use the intoxilizer to test the alcohol standard, it's the other way around. We rely on the alcohol standard to be an accurate value for purposes of conducting a calibration check on the intoxilizers. We don't do calibrations here. That can only be done in a proper manufacturer's authorized service center. But here what we're doing is we are checking the calibration of the particular intoxilizer. In this case, it's an Intoxilizer 5064 series. And we're going to use each of three different simulators. Notice with respect to each of the three simulators that each of them has a thermometer. The simulators on either side have yellow mercury thermometers in them. They're each certified by NIST and they show a range from 33.5 to 34.5 degrees Celsius marked off in increments of tenths of a degree Celsius. I'm going to zoom up on them for you to have a look. So the first simulator that we're going to look at is a Guth 34C simulator and you can just see the range between 33.5 and 34.5 degrees Celsius. As I look at the camera, it's pretty hard to see where the mercury is in that picture. Even with the camera zoomed up like this. Beside it is another Guth simulator. This one has a digital display up on top. And I'm just going to move to turn it over sideways so that you can see it. see it has a digital display showing 34.0 degrees Celsius. And the third simulator that I'm going to zoom up on, we'll see if we can see its thermometer and temperature. Now the last simulator that I just set up here, I just changed the solution in it. So it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes to come up to 34.0 degrees Celsius and at this point in time we can't see any mercury in the column. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video was just to show how difficult it is to actually see the mercury in the column in the mercury thermometer. I'm going to try and see if I can experiment a bit with moving the thermometer around on the 34C simulator see if it's possible to see that mercury on the camera. Now getting down on the floor like that I was able to see that the temperature is 34.0 degrees Celsius, I still can't see it on the camera. I was down within a matter of less than a foot away from the simulator to be able to read that thermometer temperature. I'll keep trying to turn that thermometer to see if you can see it on the camera. Again, I just want to illustrate how difficult it is to read that thermometer.
I can read it now and it's dropped down to 33.9 degrees Celsius, probably because I've been playing with it. You can see how sensitive it is. And once again, we'll see if we can see Mercury column. No, it's not visible to me in the camera. I will zoom up as close as I possibly can. In fact, I will move the camera right up closer. I now have the camera less than a meter away. We'll see if it's possible to read that temperature. I can know that I can read it from about a foot away with my own eye. One of the experts that I know always uses a magnifying glass when he tries to do this. We can see the marking there for 34, but I can't with the camera see the mercury. With my own eye, you can see it's at 33.9, but then I've got lots of experience at looking at it. I think you can faintly see it in the camera. There should be a marking around there somewhere. You should be able to see the mercury below that. I always wonder how it is that police officers are able to see these so easily. When they're conducting breath tests, they seem to be able to see them from about four or five feet away in the room just with a quick glance and know that it's at exactly 34.0 degrees Celsius. Now mine is reading about halfway between 33.9 and 34.0.